Hi, welcome to our fourth tutorial on some of the new features in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now today we're going to talk about the new mixer layout and if you're an audio guy at all this is really cool because this is going to make your editing experience for audio more like you were using a traditional hardware mixer. I think you'll like it. Come check it out. Let's take just a moment and look at the standard two-track mixer in Vegas 10, the previous version of Vegas. Uh, here we have 44.1 kilohertz, 16-bit. A couple of options here such as uh, audio properties, down mix output, the ability to insert a bus. Now let's look at the version in Vegas 11, our current version, and uh, let's actually kind of put these side by side here. I think we can do that. Okay, what you see on the left hand side here is the version in Vegas 10 where it's called Mixer. And then on the right hand side here we have the version that's in Vegas 11 and it's called Master Bus. Very similar. A couple differences here. Uh, in Vegas 10 you have the ability to insert a bus and to insert assignable effects in this two track mixer. They've actually removed that from the Master Bus in Vegas 11. If you want that type of control it's probably best to bring up the full audio mixer and we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Other than that there is no difference here between these two. Um, you still have the ability to solo mute your stereo channels here. One difference here in the Vegas 11 version you can open your mixing console direct from the master bus. You couldn't do that before. And that kind of sums up the differences here between the two track mixers in Vegas 10 and Vegas 11. Let's have a look at the actual mixing console itself. You'll notice in Vegas 10, the previous version, to bring up you could bring up the mixer window or the mixing console window. A little bit confusing. And in Vegas 11, again, it's master bus and mixing console. And remember that if you're looking at the master bus, you can open the mixing console right from the right from the bus there. Okay, we have a little bit of a different view of a Vegas project here. This is Vegas 11. There's no video preview. We have just our, our workspace here. And over here on the right side, we have a disc in the DVD drive from Vast called Track Pack 5. It's modern incidentals, modern scoring cues and background ambiences. So we're going to set up a little soundscape here for our major motion picture. Just to give you an idea of how easy it is to work with audio in Vegas, and these files that we're working with here are actually royalty-free loops and little instrumental pads and patches and things that you can use in your productions. You can get these from a variety of sources. We're using some from Vast for this demonstration. Let's start with some rhythm loops, and we will just grab a couple of things here, set up some different tracks. Let's play that and see how it sounds. I'll show you how easy it is to loop that. We'll just make a copy of it by pressing control, click and drag. And being that this is a loop, that's a seamless loop from one to the other. Okay, let's grab a couple of other pieces of media. Some instrumental cues here. I really have no idea how these sound. The beauty thing about this is it doesn't really matter at this point. You can see how they'll fit together. You'll notice I've added the master bus here, which is how most people would view their timeline. And so what we have here is a track of rhythm instruments, and then two tracks of kind of instrumental music. Let's see what that sounds like. Not too bad, and you can see the kind of standard master mixer view that we're used to seeing in Vegas when we're working on our video projects. But it's not the view that most audio engineers are used to looking at when they're dealing with multi-track mixers. So let's uh, grab our master bus here and click on the open mixing console and see what that looks like. You know what, let's give our tracks names. And you'll see the names that we've given them here are in the label on the bottom of each channel. Let's take just a moment and, and poke around the mixing console for a little bit. The uh, audio properties and layout is streamlined from previous versions, which is nice. 
All of your main controls are still across the top as they have been in previous versions, inserting buses, assignable effects, things like that. You have a variety of ways that you can look at the levels of audio, which is nice. You've got our old friend, the master bus here, which you can bring right up. You've got meters, you've got VU meters. If you're used to working in any other digital audio workstation, you likely have a favorite way of viewing your workspace. And Vegas gives you all the flexibility to look at these levels any way you choose. Remember, Vegas started life as an audio workstation, and it still has the best audio capabilities of any NLE on the market. So let's play, let's play a little bit, and we'll adjust some levels here. This is called making everything louder than everything else. You notice that we're peaking here. We're going above zero, which is always bad in digital audio. You never want to go above zero. So I'm going to add, to keep that from happening, I'm going to add a mastering uh, plug-in here. And you can adjust some controls in here, but I pretty much leave this the way it is. And you'll notice that no matter how we have these levels set, which are just entirely too high, this, this won't go above zero. Okay. Remember, if you double-click on a control in Vegas, it takes it back to its default setting. So let's say that what we want to actually do is we want to hear, this is getting to be a little bit dense, and we want to really hear the drums more so than the incidental music. So we'll bring those two tracks down. Remember, we labeled these drums and then one and two, and here's our master. That's much, much nicer. So again, you've got uh, individual channel levels, you've got VU meters, you've got your master output here. You can insert your effects on the, uh, on the individual tracks right from this, out, right from this view. So the next time you have an audio-only project or a project that uses many different audio tracks, typically it would be multiple tracks of music, a few tracks of dialogue, some sound effects, maybe even room tone, you might find that you'd benefit greatly from using the full-on mixing console view in Vegas Pro. Check it out. I do think you'll like it. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time in Vegas.